Hi guys, welcome to another episode of How to Make a Pokemon Game slash me making Pokemon and Glow with Pokemon Essentials. So guys, I think today might be a shorter than normal episode, it depends on if I find more things to do. But, I got a comment recently, people are a little bit confused about how to add like wild Pokemon to the game. Now, we did get the comment cleared up. But I wanted to do a video anyways as a recap because in episode eight I went over this, but I think I I think I went over the hard way too. So this is actually I think an easier way in episode eight, and there'll be some other things in here. But without further ado, let's get to it. So guys, you just want to go into your Pokemon Essentials folder where you're making your game, assuming you're making a game. Just go to the editor thing with the bright scar beside it, light run. I don't know. Mine will always ask me that, but I know some of yours might not. And it just opens up this little thing. Takes a while because it needs Cologan and all good data. Yeah. There are a lot of lines to process, but it's on its way. It's, it's getting there. At that second, I guess, Sky Forward. Okay, I'll ignore that for a moment. <laughs> Slug it down a little bit. Now it's going faster. Alright, guys. You just want to let that look up a little bit. Wow. There are a lot of lines to process. But it it's definitely almost there. Unless something's wrong. Is something wrong? I don't think so. I think it I think it's getting there. I think it's almost there. Wow! That was way longer than usual. It's probably because I'm recording. I'll turn up the volume so you can hear that. Alright. I'll turn that down again, just to there, so it doesn't bug other people in the house, because there are people over. Anyways, so we, you want to go to just edit, and then map connections, or the editor or whatever. So this is just, it scores all the maps, so I'll show you F5 for help, just so you know. So A will add a new map, G will delete a map, S goes to another map, you click to select a map, double click to edit a map, and E to edit maps and counters and drag to move map. Alright. Well, I am. Press X to get out by what. So we're going to press S to go to a map. And we're going to go to the very much unfinished Rocky Forest. So this is a huge area. By the way, you can use the arrow keys to maneuver. You can also drag around the mouse. But yeah. So here's what the editor looks like if you haven't seen it before. These are all the maps. And just place them next to each other each other and kind of mix and match them. Anyways, I'm going to click a map with some grass in it and then edit the Pokemon encounters for that area. So I don't know if we have it here, so I'll double click. And here's all the things like it's outdoor, it can be day and night, like, oh, eggs. Upon entry it will say good name. We actually don't want that, right? Um, eh, okay. So we'll say, um, what? No, don't enable it. All right. So there's bicycles. So we'll allow stuff like that. You can do stuff like that. I'm not sure why I'm doing this now. I guess I'm just getting distracted. But that's pretty much how it works. You can also select like what battle background there'll be there. But if you press E, well, it's selected. Then you can click the Pokemon. So that's density. I can't remember what that means, but. Here's all the things. So, like, headbutt, trees, new encounter type. So, this is what you get with an old rod, good rod, super rod. So, I'm just going to select land, which is pretty much tall grass. And here is all the Pokemon that spawn in the tall grass in the Rocky Forest up left. I didn't choose these, but I guess they picked it randomly. So, I am actually going to change the species of these to the Pokemon I prefer to see here. So instead, we will... I'll, I'll go up, so that's the new Pokemon. Yikes, this is going to take a little bit. Although I will keep at least one Poochie for sure. 
Let's put Jan as a cool Pokemon. Exploud? Loudred? Okay, so Zorpal I added, but why is your Loudred gonna explode, explode again? That's a bit weird, but. I have heard. What we're gonna put here is. Hmm. I don't know what ones already exist, but we'll put a Militam here. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. So it can be... What? I'm pretty sure I selected Militam. But here's how you just add Pokemon here. Ah. I meant Kikinipi. I did add Milita Militail. I'm thinking Bilitam. I, I'm really not sure why I'm off here right now. Okay, yeah. So that is actually right. Uh. Okay. And then it will also have, because I really, really like this Pokemon, a lot of Peklos here. And Skeg of the, Skeg of Catamile, there will be Peklo here. Alright, but, okay. Now that is definitely wrong. Octo Swag, who picked Octo Swag? I'm a bit confused. Okay. Um... Yeah, you're not Octu Swag, man. What? Ah, right, I'll see if I can figure this out. So, guys, that was kind of weird, but I don't know what's happening there. But if you go back to Editor, just you can click Set Encounters, and this is actually an easier way to do it. This is how I'm in the past. So I think it was Rocky Forest up left. Then. Anyway, so I'll go back to land. And it's back to normal because I unsaved that. But anyways, now we'll go to where it has Garata again. And I'm pretty sure it will work this time, guys. I know. This happens every episode. Which is kind of disappointing where something goes a little bit wrong. But it's not a hard fix, which is pretty good. Um, so we will just go with, uh, there's so many Pokemon. Um, we'll go with Peckalo, and we'll keep it to levels 12 to 15. We'll keep it what it has. What is wrong with Peckalo? Okay. Okay. So I don't know what this glitch is. I don't know if this is normal, but I guess it's going two up. It looks like. So if I click hamstrings, it should be okay. Now it's Pectrillo. Well, this is a weird glitch, but it just seems to be going a little bit up. Okay. If I click Peclo, that is two up. And now Pekilo is Pekilo. So we just need to go, you want to pick the one that's too below the one you actually want. If you're having that glitch, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had this glitch before. I don't really remember it, that's for sure. Maybe that's why there's a lot of empty areas. I'll see what's up with that. Then always click here. And the other Ragata. And I don't want Ragata again. So I will replace this Ragata with another Peckalo because I think there should be at least two. Or not another Peckalo. We'll do Peckalo for the next one. For this one, we'll go with Hamstrix, which is actually Hamtailrin. But yeah, guys, so that's pretty much just how you do it. And you can plug in wherever you want. This is probably a little boring, but that's the gist of it, guys. And then these Pokemon will show up in the wild in the area. And if you can't remember what you named your area, a little picture shows up on the side here when you're selecting, which helps a lot, to be honest. I'm sorry, I'm just going to pick the last one, and then we'll be out of here. Alright, so it'll be Peckalo again. There we go. 
And it has a good percent chance of finding that Pokemon. So there's a 10% chance you'll run into a Peklo of these levels. Stuff like that. It's pretty simple, pretty cool. Yeah. But you can't actually change your percent chance, but you can, like, put them where you want. Like, I can't, like, make this as 80%. You can't actually edit what number the percentages are. But yeah, and then you just can go out. And that's where you can see the whole thing. And we're good. Did I not save somehow? Oh, yeah. And that's how you do it, guys. But don't worry, this isn't quite the end. There's a couple, like, really small things to show you. So, yeah. So, guys, um, another quick thing. I don't know if I've shown you this before, but you can edit the name of the Pokedex that you have in the game. It's not very hard at all, to be honest. It's pretty useful, too, like a lot of time. So, that's a thing. If it will load. Yeah. So I don't know why I'm in here. This is like the, the cabin or something. There's still no use for it, but it seems to be a place where it always lives in. So that's but whatever. All right. So guys, if you go over here, you can see script editor. It's going with a little pen and settings. So settings. I've actually already changed it, but here you go. And this is where the Pokedex games are. So usually I think there's more than two, but I delete the other ones to make it less confusing for me. If there were skeptics that just look it up because I can't really remember it right now, but you can just name it whatever you want, like Poo Hat, I think it is, is, it, is it Poo Hat? It's like Poo Hat, and it's a Poo Hat Pokedex, but I'm going to keep it Palomo. And yeah, it's by default this one's Kanto, but I just changed it to that. And why? Okay. And that's how you change Pokedex to whatever you want the Pokedex to be, so more fit for your game and your needs for your game. So that's pretty cool and useful. Yeah. You can do a lot with it. But if we go back to the editor, I think that's where the most stuff is by far. Because editor is pretty much debug mode. Well, I think parts of it, I that was actually completely a lie and just not even translate it. So I'm not even sure why I said or thought that. It's nothing like debug mode. Debug mode is a mode that allows you like, to teleport and do whatever you want and fill up your PC with one of every single Pokemon so that you can test stuff easily because that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah. It's also one that takes a while to load. Can you hurry up? Yes? 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 Um, maybe not. No. Alright, well. Sorry about this, guys. I'll need to keep you entertained somehow. Okay, almost there. Nope, no it's not. I lied. It is getting here. This is entertaining, is it not? No? Okay. Well, sorry, guys. Guys, what, like, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on a couple of the things you can do here. I know I kind of did that with, like, the map thing when I was, thought I was wrong. That works just as well, I guess. I don't know what that glitch is with it going to up. Is that normal? It might be normal. I'll need to get used to it. But you can, like, edit items, edit Pokemon, edit whatever you want, guys. It's pretty simple. So, edit items, you can just pick an item and, like, click it and change its description. It goes alphabetically, though. But you can, like, change whatever you want. So, no, it's not change. It's not save changes because we didn't change anything. And just get out of there. But that's pretty cool, I think, that you can do all that. I really like it. So, yeah, you can, like, edit regional dexes so you can add in a new regional dex by pressing add dex and like change the name, edit them and like you know change how many pokemon are in it stuff like that it's pretty cool save changes no because we didn't change anything no we didn't change anything why is it always ask me that i'll never know but you can like edit whatever you want from here and it's 
pretty much the same as editing the PBS document, but way easier and more accessible. Actually, can you you can edit Pokemon from here? Can I, like, if this is the same as the other one, this is way easier, like, okay, but it is alphabetical, unfortunately, but yeah, you can change your name, it's typings, all that, right from here. So the editor, guys, is clearly a way easier way to go about editing stuff, if you're just editing, but it isn't a better way for adding stuff. And I, what? I did mean no. Okay, I don't know what's happening. I hope I didn't screw up the game. Um, guys, because this isn't awesome, I hope that, you know, yeah, alright. It's all good, it looks like. Okay, guys. But, guys, that is all there is, so I, like, that's because how the editor works. It's way easier, way more hands-on, and it kind of tells you what everything is. And a lot more fail safe and foolproof than the way I used to be doing things. I actually should start using the editor more. I never look at it because I didn't really. It's not the way I learned how to do it or taught myself how to do it. But that's pretty cool, guys. So if you like this episode, make sure to let me know you like it by leaving a like. It's not too hard. You just press that time thumbs up button at the bottom of the video. And while you're down there, how about you hit that subscribe button? Stay updated on all the stuff coming from my channel. Like. Pokemon, Neon Glow stuff, gaming stuff, me making more of his game, playing more of his game, releasing more of his game, who knows? Right now, everything's this game for me, because I guess I'm just excited about it. And guys, until next time, do just one more thing, and that's...